Dear Grade 1 students, This is the chapter about picture and bar graphs. And in this lesson, we are going to learn about tally and bar graphs. Let's start by understanding tally marks. They are counting lines I draw to help me count. Let's look at these stationary items. I will draw a table to count them. I will cross an eraser and put a tally mark. Each time I cross an eraser, I will put a tally mark. How many tally marks did I draw? Four. Now, let's count the sharpeners. I am going to cross each sharpener and write a tally mark. Notice the fifth tally mark. I make a group with each five marks. Five and two make seven. I asked my friends about their favorite fast food meal. And then I made a table. Their favorite meals were either burgers, pizzas, or fries. I'm going to fill out my tally graph now. I cross out a fry and put a tally mark in the fries area. I cross out pizza. I put a mark in the pizza area. And I will keep doing so until I fill out my table. Notice that all the foods are mixed up. So each time I cross out one food, I am going to put it in the correct place. And this is really the use of the tally chart. If my data is not organized, this is a way to help me organize them at the same time. Just a few more and we're almost done. Always remember the fifth tally mark will go diagonal on the first four marks and then I will start a new group. Now, when I'm counting the five, the group of five tally marks, I'm going to skip count by five. Let's see how. Look at the burgers. Five and two more, and that makes seven. The pizzas are exactly five. The fries are five, ten, and one more, so that makes eleven. I asked my friends about their favorite colors and I made this tally chart. Don't forget, we count the groups of five by skip counting by five. Look at the blue ones. I will count five, 10, and three more, 13. So I have 13 blue, five, 10, 15, exactly 15, and five, and one more, that's six. Thank you for attending this session. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. See you next time.